Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Got some big news on the biggest name in the sport, Canelo Alvarez. John, not uh, John Ryder, uh, is about to ride himself into another massive payday. This is the luckiest human being in the world. We're going to get into it. Um, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery, so please subscribe to the channel. It's near and dear to our hearts here. All right, let's get into this John Ryder thing. Um, John Ryder is 32-5. and five. John Ryder has a lost to Rocky Fielding, who Canelo destroyed in, what, two rounds. He's got a, a stoppage loss to Nick Blackwell. Um, he got dominated by Billy Joe Saunders. I mean, we're going back almost a decade now, so I, let's not put too much thought into that. But, you know, to just just recently, let's look, he, he, you know, he, he lost to somebody. Named, he lost to Jack Arnfeld. I, I mean, so the Rocky Fielding loss was in 2017. He lost to Callum Smith in 2019. I mean, these are guys that stand up, had no shot with Canelo. They that that beat him. Um, and then most recently, obviously, he has a split decision win over Danny Jacobs, in which no sane person could score that fight for Ryder. Because yes, he did win the last five rounds, probably. He lost the first seven. Now, I'm not a math major, but if you lose the first seven and there's no point deductions and no knockdowns, no 10-8 rounds of any sort, and no judge scored any 10-8 rounds, how do you win the fight? And he didn't win the fight. That was an egregious scorecard. Across the board, poor. Um, one judge got it right. There's only one way to score that fight. Maybe two. Maybe you can have 16-12 Jacobs, but 15-13 was kind of the right scorecard for Jacobs. It wasn't a hard fight to score. It really wasn't. There's no way Ryder won that fight. Then he comes back the end of 2022, and Zach Parker quits. Broke his hand, I guess. Didn't want to try to fight. He's getting dominated. He's losing badly to Zach Parker, who I think is an excellent fighter. I think Zach Parker is a tremendous fighter who would, probably wouldn't beat Canelo, but would have gave him a real test. I, I think Zach Parker is, you know, an A fighter. Canelo just happens to be an A-plus fighter. But I, I think really highly of Zach Parker, and I, I spoke on that before. Um, Parker is dominating through four rounds. I guess breaks his hand, doesn't want to continue, doesn't want to give it a go, quits. So, off of two wins, one was a robbery. He probably did deserve the Callum Smith win, right? And we guys want to go back to 2019? He probably deserved that win. A am I wrong? He probably deserved the Callum Smith win. Uh, am I misremembering? It's been three plus years ago already. But he probably deserved the win there. Um, he he gets he gets <laughs> he gets um you know the Danny Jacobs thing it was a little bit uh, of poetic justice right like like Jacobs got a bogus decision that he didn't deserve uh Ryder probably got jobbed out of a decision with Callum Smith Jacobs beats Ryder and Ryder gets to the decision maybe it's a little poetic justice there but then he gets. Parker, who's beating him bad, quits, quits, quits. Broken hand. I don't want to fight. I, I don't, I don't want to try. Beat him with one hand. Go fight Canelo for $10 million or whatever I'm going to get. 
you know, where my hand will be better and, and maybe I can beat Canelo. I don't know. I, I, I lost a little bit for Black Parker on that one. I, I'm being honest. I, I still think he's it's, it's, it's tremendously gifted. The dog in him is what I'm questioning. Um, the dog in him. Um, so, uh, off of that, off of Zach Parker quitting when he was beating him and, and, and a robbery against Danny Jacobs, John Ryder finds himself in the ring with the biggest name in the sport and he's going to get a massive payday. And a man's paid his dues, right? I mean, he's going to get annihilated by Canelo. It's going to be bad. Um, again, Rocky Fielding beat this guy. I'm not saying he's a trash fighter or I'm not saying anything like that. He's not. He's a good fighter. There are levels to this. And you're fighting Canelo Alvarez and you're John Ryder. I say Canelo stops him in five. That's my prediction. But kudos to John Ryder. It's better to be lucky than good. And he's more lucky than he is good. He's not a bad fighter. John Ryder doesn't suck. John Ryder's not trash or anything like that. Um, but John Ryder getting this fight is, I mean, it's luck. He got luck. He got a lucky decision that he lost. He got a hometown decision. And I, look, I told this to Regis Progre when he was going to go fight um, Josh Taylor. I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, don't go over there and fight him. You're not going to get a fair decision. I, I would say the same thing to someone. I, if Terrence Crawford said, should I fight Errol Spence in Dallas? Nah, nah, bro, don't. It, 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 you know, it, it, if Danny Jacobs or, or Demetrius Andre or someone who, who was linked to a Charlo fight, so should, should I come to, to Houston and fight Charlo? Nah, probably shouldn't. Get a neutral site, don't. So I'm not being, I'm not saying it's only in the UK. Trust me, it happens in Texas more than anywhere else. As bad, right? Ask Andre Durrell. <laughs> right? Andre, yeah. don't do it. The payday's not big enough. You're going to get robbed, right? Don't go over to the UK and find but this is going to be interesting because Canelo's obviously going to stop him, right? So Canelo wants to do the fight in Mexico. Canelo's putting his money where his mouth is. Canelo's going to take a little, little haircut on the payday. Um, might be more than a little, maybe a $10 million haircut on the payday to, to go fight for his hometown fans in Mexico, in Jalisco, which is cool, I, I think. You know, he's made enough money. He wants to give one for the homies, and I appreciate that. Like, I, I think that's a good look for Canelo, and, I, you know, he he's obviously doesn't need the money, although – I would never tell anyone to pass on the money, right? Like if it were me, <laughs> he said you can fight for the homies, or you could go to Vegas and fight for ten million. Same fight, uh, Vegas or in my backyard. I'll just fight him in Vegas for ten million. More, <laughs> but no, I give I, I give Canelo respect for that. Um, but the Ryder fight, it's gonna happen. Eddie Hearn said it should be made official. Hopefully, it'll be made official. He said hopefully, I don't miss him. Hopefully, it made official later this week. Um, so we're going to get Ryder, we're going to get, and Canelo, Cinco de Mayo weekend in Jalisco, Mexico, more than likely. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please subscribe uh, to Texas Boxing Scene as well, the other channel, uh, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. February 14th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.